Hello guys and gals, it's Solfax here and welcome to another War Thunder video. Before we start this one, I need to apologize for the distinct lack of videos on my channel for, the, well, the, just the past week. And because something her terrible happened to my new PC, my brand new PC, and I don't know what it is. <laughs> I just don't know what it is. For some reason, I had a video that I wanted to render in 720p, 60 frames per second. But for some reason, I just couldn't render that video because whenever I tried to render that video around 30 to 40 seconds into the rendering process, my computer would just shut down. And I couldn't figure out what was going on, and I still don't know what was going on. I just, I'm so concerned about my new PC that I don't want to mess around with it. So I had to delete that video, even though it was a great replay sent in to me by a friend of mine, Jeremy, who you might have seen featured on my channel, or you might have known him by AJR Hindo. Yes, he sent me a very good replay. Unfortunately, I had to delete it because, well, I just couldn't render it. So I'm doing this video. Now in this video I'm playing a realistic battle match on the Berlin map in the KV2 1940, which is a premium gift tank that was awarded for anybody who participated in the World War II series event. Well, I say anybody, you needed to have, you needed to complete 13 or maybe even 14 daily tasks to unlock this vehicle. And this is a great vehicle in that it's just a KV2. Yes, it's just a KV-2 with slightly redesigned turret, and that's basically it. It's still a KV-2, it still has a 4.3 battle rating, and it still has that awesome 152mm cannon. Now, I don't know what it is about this tank, but what you're going to watch now is my slightly above average game in a KV-2, and I'm just, I'm not kidding you. This is one of my most... Well, not one of my most. This is my most successful tank in War Thunder. This is a tank that I drive when I just want to get a couple of kills, and when I want to stop the enemy. I honestly can't pinpoint the reason why I'm performing so well in this vehicle. My usual match in this vehicle is around 4 kills, and in my opinion that is really good for a tank that is as slow, that has such a slow turning turret, and has such a slow reload time, even though the cannon is the only standout thing on this vehicle. Everything else is just box standard. Now, this stug around the corner is going to find out just how deadly this cannon is. I mean, look at this. He tries to turn around his hull and shoot at me, and nope, I just shut him down for my first kill in this match. But why I think this vehicle is so great and is the best vehicle at 4.3 battle rating is because it has the perfect combination of everything. It has decent mobility. It's not as mobile as your medium tanks, your light tanks, but it's decently mobile. Secondly, it's got a hell of a lot of armor. I mean, 75mm doesn't sound big on paper, but in reality, this tank can easily tank shots and it can easily bounce shots. And of course, it helps that it has six crew members and like some other tanks have five or four crew members. And thirdly, this cannon, while the reload is obnoxiously long at around 40 something seconds and you can only get it down to 36 seconds with the, uh, the best crew possible, it's still workable. I mean, if you engage targets one by one, as I failed to do here, as I killed a Stug and get shot by the Panzer IV, you can easily, easily kill everything you come across. It also helps that you get the perfect map for this vehicle. The KV-2 doesn't work on open maps where you can get shot from multiple directions and where you cannot easily hide behind cover after you fire. Berlin is the perfect map for this tank. There's so much cover on this map and a lot of cover you can actually see through in realistic battles and see over so you can basically funnel your enemies to fight them one on one. And that's where this tank shines as this Panzer, is it Panzer 3 or Panzer 4? I don't know, we're gonna see in just a second here. Now this Panzer 4 shot me and killed two of my crew members so I'm gonna get a revenge. Straight in the commander's cupola, it fragments down and gets me my fourth kill. That's so satisfying to do in this tank. Even if you have the smallest amount of enemy exposed, if you put a shot into that part of the enemy, you're most likely going to kill them. But now here comes the part where the KV-2 really doesn't excel. Because I am reloading and that Panzer IV II is trying to flank me, Panzer IV F2, not Panzer IV II, is trying to flank me, I have to play kind of a bluff here, so I'm just going to turn around my tank and try to both angle my armor and point my gun around the corner. Now he doesn't know that I'm reloading, but because I don't have my gun pointed at him, he just comes around the corner, puts one shot into me and just backs off. That's extremely lucky for me, but now something is going to happen that I didn't expect. There's another Panzer IV F2 who comes around the corner, shoots, my, shoots at my turret, knocks out my cannon and then just runs away? I really don't know what this guy was doing. He didn't have a very good shot at me after he put the initial shot into me, but he still could have put additional shots into me and made me repair for a much longer time. And luckily for me, this Panzer IV F2 on the other side of the building didn't bother to check if I got shot, and he doesn't know that I'm actually repairing my tank, and that's what I was talking about. 
and playing a bluff here. If he comes around the corner at any point in time other than here in just a second, he's gonna kill me. But because he waited for so long, I managed to both reload and repair my cannon and pick up my fourth kill off him. That's extremely unfortunate for him. I feel kind of bad for this guy. He really didn't have a very good match in this one. So with that Panzer IV II F out of the way, Panzer IV II F. <laughs> I just can't say the name of that tank consistently correctly. Panzer IV F2 out of the way, I can actually turn around and try to defend the cap point from the second spawn of enemies coming in here. Now, the KV-2, while it's a great tank to fight one-on-one, -on -one, it really doesn't excel in these kind of positions. I am the second most forward tank on my team, and while there's a lot of tanks that are behind me, like acting as second line of support, there's still nothing that I can do when Panzer IVs like this come around the corner. Unless they don't fire at me, and I manage to flick a shot and hit him in the turret and one-shot him. But that was extremely lucky because you never want to do that in a KV-2. If you miss in a KV-2, you're dead. No matter what you're fighting against, at what range, if you don't have a lot of cover, and if the enemy isn't a brain that idiot, if you miss a shot, you're dead. But luckily, I managed to get the shot in, and I killed him. I do realize that I keep using the same phrase over and over at this point in the match, so I'm going to try to do something different at this point in the video. So in this match, at this point, the friendly team, we have basically won this match. This is There's no arguing against it. We have a lot more tanks alive, and a lot of our tanks are still alive from the beginning of the match, which means that we have better tanks than the enemy have. Now, while the Germans have a good second lineup of tanks in these kind of battles, it's still not as good as the first lineup. Look at this Stug. Now, this Stug poked his head out and saw me. And now he did a very smart thing. He backs off to get some acceleration and some speed, and then he runs across this gap, and I missed my shot. And luckily, even though I was firing HE, which has around 100, and 100 more meters per second velocity than the AP round on this vehicle, I still kind of missed a shot. I don't know why. I'm usually very good at these kind of shots. But anyhow, this match is going to be drawing to a close here, and I'm really getting bored because I know there's not a lot of players around the cap point anymore, and as you can see there's three friendly tanks in close vicinity to me, which means that it's very safe for me to move forward and try to eliminate anybody who's trying to recapture the A point, because I'm not having that. I've had six kills in this match, and this is a premium tank, and I'm really hurting for Silver Lions now, because I've spent a lot of sil Silver Lions trying to unlock the new jets that have just had their battle ratings reduced, not battle ratings, excuse me, their XP points, XP cost reduced, so I'm really hurting for Lions. Oh, another Stug, I think that was the same Stug, and this time he didn't get away, he again tried to run across the gap, but I managed to put one shot into his arse and get myself the seventh kill in this match. I don't know if you noticed, but just before I killed this Stug, somebody shot from behind that wall, just left of me. And I was contemplating going around this side, but then I saw another Stug over there, so that's out of the question. And because he was shooting to the left of here, I really need to wait for my cannon to reload before trying to go behind this wall. And at this point in time, I was contemplating just trying to run through this wall, seeing if I could break it down, and just YOLO, trying to rush the enemy and crush them beneath the 75 tons of this tank. But that's completely unnecessary, because as you're going to see in a second, when I just get over this little mound of rubble, there's absolutely nobody behind this wall. Like, where did this mystery tank go? And what I didn't notice is, well, as I was derping around here trying to find my ghost tank, is that the enemy managed to flank around us and capture the A point right under our noses. That's, that was really embarrassing and that really surprised me. Another thing that I failed to notice is that that friendly tank that just got taken out by somebody was pointing his cannon roughly in my direction. Now, I didn't even thought about the possibility there are more than one tanks around the cap point, because naturally there is one tank in the cap point and another tank that just killed this tank, and I didn't even think about that. So naturally, I tried to rush the cap point trying to get the kill because I'm in a KV-2 and I'm not afraid of anything. And as I reach the cap point, I get shot in the side by a marauder that was just like being very sneaky here, and congratulations to him because he got a nice kill on me. So 7 kills on a KV-2. However you look at it, that's a very good match in my opinion, and this is, like I said, only slightly above the average amount of kills that I get in a KV-2. 
Now the enemy did capture the A point, but they are not going to hold it for long as you can see because there's a couple of T-34s around there we easily managed to kill the Panzer IV that was in the A cap point and we easily managed to recapture the A cap point. But unfortunately because this match is so far so close to being over and the enemy has only a few tickets left, before I even get to the cap point the match is basically over. The last thing that I managed to do in this match is ninja a kill from an Achilles on a Marauder 3, I think, yes, this is a Marauder 3. That brings up my total to 8 kills with only 2 vehicles, and considering that I got 7 kills in one vehicle, that's even more impressive in my opinion. But anyhow, for this week I have another episode of War Thunder Weekly planned for you guys, which with a little surprise in that video, but until then, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope I'll see you next time. My name has been Solfax, and yeah, see you later.